This is Iron Trader. The pits close at 2.30. It's a little bit after 5 here. So, as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted along with the EIA report. This video is for information purposes only. Not a recognition to buy, sell any stock, buy the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right. Here we have crude, your daily chart. Now, let me just pick this up a little bit here. What do we have? Well, <clears throat> we really have a whole lot of nothing. It didn't do a whole lot there today um, as far as that. Now, I did scalp the UCO uh, today. That was a pretty decent scalp. I didn't uh, do anything on the short side, just on the long side. So that worked out uh, pretty good. But right now, what we are is you're caught between this 50 SMA here on the downside and the 21 on the upside. Okay, now when the futures open here at 6 o'clock, you'll notice that this 8-day is going to be lower. Now, if you watch my video this morning, you'll notice what I pointed out here at this as being a possible bear flag. So if we look to the past a little bit here, this is a perfect example of a bear flag where you have a big red candle and then you rally up and then what do we have here is another big ass red candle that never got higher than the first candle. So that is a possibility of what we might have here. We just don't know that yet, okay? So this is why you just want to scalp the trade here, see what you have and how it's all going to shake out. Because these bear flags never uh, play out, you know, to the upside. Let me look at this here and then down. See, up to here and then down again here. So that's what we have to watch. So let's take a look at the upside here first. Um, 74, uh, 21. Your 21 SMA, very, very key. Right above that is going to be your 8 SMA here uh, sitting at 74.66 which is going to be lower when those futures are open. Now, again, if you can close above this 21 and that 8 SMA, well, that would negate that bear uh, flag pattern, okay? So then what we do, if you can get above that 8 SMA, 74.66, then we just follow the candles here. So you got 75.52 uh, uh, here. You have 75.85. Uh, we have uh, 76.41. And then we have your 77.43, your 200 SMA. And then we have your Hondo up here at 78. Uh, uh, 71 and then we have the price channel going there at 79 uh, 29 so there's a lot of resistance here but again we got to see how this is all going to shake out here the key is going to be watching that 21 sma and that 8 sma here when those futures open uh if they do well we know what the target's going to be it's going to be big targets going to be 77 43 your 100 day or your possible retest of 79 29 now on the downside you want to watch this 50 sma 7337. If that is lost, okay, then what we do is we come to yesterday's candle, which is basically 7238. We'll come to this candle, you're looking at 7179, and then we have here 7141. Uh, that would be uh, your big retest here. Now, again, if that's lost, then we can come over to this candle. You're looking at uh, 7050, which is that double bottom uh, from the 7047. Uh, level and then if that's lost, we can come over here to 7013, which is your double bottom from your 706, and then we have a nice target down here at 69.28. If that's lost, what we do, we follow the candles down, but realistically, your big target is going to be here 67.71 uh, here. Okay, so bottom line here, we want to see what all these price channels are going, but now you can see as you know, as the price comes down, you obviously your price channels are, are coming down, but now you can see the rise in. The price channel so we got to see how this is all going to basically share out shake out but just watch that for a possible bear flag again a close above the 21 day or this candle at uh, 74 uh, 52 or the 8 sma then that negates that bear flag and then we have a, a target there of 77 uh, 43. now rsi here is not showing any kind of a divergence here uh you're looking you're looking okay there um your macd here your momentum your green is below your red but it looks like it's trying to flatten out we got to see how it all shakes out, but it could be a fooler like we had here where it looks like it wants to come up and then it just falls right on down. So that's how we have to take a look at. So let's uh, take a look here on a weekly and a monthly chart. Okay, here we have your monthly chart. So what you want to do is watch that 200 day. You're looking at 73.36 right below it here. You have your 50 day at 69.77. Let me figure up a little bit here. Okay, so obviously you can see I've been pointing it out a zillion times how that 50 day is holding everything very, very nicely here, okay? And it's rising on up. That's always a good sign. But you need to watch that 200 day. If we can get ahead uh, above that, then we have that nice 79.29, uh, basically uh, 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 retest here of, uh, what, yeah, yeah, 
nice uh, retest there here of the of uh, your uh, eight SMA here, and then right above it we have your uh, uh, twenty one day at sitting at eighty uh, ninety eight here. Now, <clears throat> when we look here here on your uh, other chart here, we're looking here. Uh, yes, okay. So here what we're doing, we're looking here on your uh, weekly chart here. So the key level here is going to be this 200 SMA, 7207. Now you can see how it's holding very, very nicely. See this? Okay. Of course, I pointed that also out a zillion times, but it's holding it very nice. Even though it comes down, it's holding it nicely. Now we had that wedge pattern that went on there, popped right up, but then you had that big red engulfing candle, right, right into the 21, but that, that 200 day, it held. Now... We're back above the 200-day, and this is the, the 8 estimate, and looks like the price is above that. Real-time price right now, we're sitting at about 74.08, and uh, this here is at 73.71, so <clears throat> that is going to be key. Now, again, it's a weekly chart, so realistically, by Friday, you know, this is only Wednesday, we want to make sure that holds that on a closing basis, then we have a shot to go higher. Okay, so let's just look at the downside first. Watch that 73.71. Watch this key 200 day 7207 on a closing basis. If that's lost, then we'll look to this week's low at 7141. Um, you have that 7050, uh, 7013, uh, 6928, uh, 6880, and then your big retest here at 6771 here. Upside, we just follow the candles up. You got 7463. We have. Uh, uh, 75, uh, 25, we have uh, 76, 18, and then we have the nice 50 SMA here sitting at 77, 30, and then your 21 day at 78, uh, 19. Now, <clears throat> you got to watch this 21 day. You can see how this is rolling here. Okay, that's never a really good look because this could run right on up here and do the same thing as what we have with this red candle. What I do like is this eight day is flattening out. See how that eight day is flattening out nice? and your 200 day is up on a rise, okay? That's very good. So you can see how that it's rising right on up. That's always a very good uh, positive sign. And your eight day, it did not cross, it went, and it's going up here sideways. Uh, the, so what I don't like is your 50 days right above, but that 21 day is curling uh, over. Now, your RSI here, oh, you're looking okay here. Your MACD, you can see that is still, well, you're trying to flatten out here, but it's still, you just don't have quite that, that momentum juice. Here, like you see where it tried to roll up here, that was on this candle here, but it just had zero follow through, okay? So here on your uh, uh, monthly chart, RSI is okay. This has no juice here yet. This is just not showing anything. Basically, it's showing it's going to go sideways action, okay? So that's what we got here there on the Okutsuki. Okay, let's take a look here on uh, natural gas. All right, here we have natural gas, your hourly and your four-hour chart. Um, now... I pointed out here this price channel, but now you can see where she's dipping right on down. Now, when I when we go to a daily and a weekly, I'll show you that that 1.94 was the big retest. So far, we have 1.95, so we got to see. But it just looked like you have a series here of lower lows. See this? You just you just can't get off the schneid. You got a lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Everything is just going off the schneid here. There just really isn't much here. So what we have here today is on the upside, you want to do 197, you want to do 202, 203, um, your price channel there is 204, and then uh, 205. So it's really nothing, but what you have is you just have a keep a series of lower lows here, now at 1.956 in here. So when you look at your four hour chart, you see the same thing. It's just this price channel that hasn't even flattened out yet. It just wants to seem like it just wants to go uh uh, lower on the situation. You really need to get above this key level here. This is that 2.16. That's really what you need to do. And then she can rally up to the gap. But right now, I just don't see. I just It just looks lower. Now, today actually was a really good scalping uh, day here for me. I scalped KOLD uh, twice and I got five points out of it. So that was a really, really uh, good day there for on the uh, 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 selling this thing here on the short side. So let's take a look here on a, um, a daily and a uh, weekly. <clears throat> All right, here we have your daily, your weekly, and what the hell, we got a monthly here, okay? So what we want to do here is you can just see here, it just absolute downside. See, I point out this 8 SMA, I point it out for a reason. As this 8 SMA comes down, it just hammers the price. You need to get back above 
that eighth SMA here. If you don't, it's just going to keep taking the price lower. So this is the big target that we want to look for here, that 1.946. You can see today's low, 1.956. Okay, so do we have a double bottom here? I mean, we don't really know. It's not really say I'm going to take a risk on it. You got to wait and see uh, exactly how it's all going to shake out. But when you look at a monthly chart here, okay, you can look at these, uh, look at the price channel, see that 1.946 right there, okay? So that's what your price channel is. If that is lost, then we want to follow these candles here, okay? So bottom of this candle, you're looking at 1.852. We have 1.79 here. And then we just come all the way on down. You got 1.64. We have... Uh, 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 one point basically five two, okay, and then your big retest here is one point four four. That is your big target. You do have some resistance here, but that is going to be the target where if this falls off the cliff and loses this one point nine four, that's basically where uh, she's going to go. Uh, on the upside here, you have to reclaim this eight SMA two point oh five. If you can get above, then we can start coming uh, over to this candle here. You're looking at. Uh, 2.16. That's your gap, okay? Above here, we have your fill at 2.42, but you need to get above that gap. Then we can head towards this area, 2.23, 2.27, 2.29, uh, 2.31, and 2.32. That would be the level here if you can get above this gap. And then we can go to 2.4 and then finally fill that gap at 2.42. But right now, I just don't see it. Everything is just leaning down. And as that eight day comes down, when those futures open at six, this eight day is going to be even lower. So we got to see if it pushes it even lower. But this is going to be your big retest here at 1.946. If that's lost, we can follow these candles. But realistically, that is going to be your big target at 1.94. Now, when you look here at your RSI here, well, that's a whole lot of nothing. This, no, the momentum, absolute zero. This here, it's all turning. The green is below the red. That's not good. The green is here below the red. That's not good. It's here. So there really isn't a whole lot here for natural gas unless you're basically on the short side. So what I'll be looking for tomorrow or even after six today is I'll be looking for this 1.94. Okay. If this does not hold, then we know where the target is. And then we can add basically tomorrow morning is I can jump right on that KOLD. Now, don't get excited here because you say, oh, yeah, well, I might miss a trade. You're not going to miss no trade, okay? Because basically uh, natural gas is why I like trading it because it's wet and wild, you know. Um, you can always get in, get out. I got into KOLD twice there, a nice five points. That was that worked out really, really uh, uh, good, I should say, okay? So, you know, that's what you have to look at. Don't, don't look at it and say, I'm going to miss out here because right now natural gas just looks, this looks ugly times ugly. Um, and if that's lost here, this is exactly where you're going. And just when the future is open or tomorrow morning, however you trade, it's got to get above that 8 SMA and close above it. So then we can have a chance of working these candles and then possibly working yourself all the way on up. All right. That's what I got for you on the old crude ski and natty gas. I'll be back tomorrow morning before 8 o'clock. And we will review both of those again. Thanks for watching.